Niagara is Classic Rock, 91.7, China FM, Brian Adams, and One Night Love Affair. It is the Afternoon Drive Radio Show. Jeff Brown with you. And uh, we've got a guest in the studio. This is Alex Kazam. I was calling him a, 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 <laughs> I was calling him a magician, but Alex uh, refers to himself as a reality manipulator. That's which, right. Which is so much easier to say than magician. I did that for you, Jeff. <laughs> Thanks. Honestly. No, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Now, now, what? Uh, why don't you set this up for us, uh, Alex? You, you've had us all uh, put our favorite classic rock song in a box. That's right. Yeah. So I uh, showed up with some some slips of paper, uh, a box. This is actually the box that uh, that my parakeet came in from the pet store. So forgive me if you have any bird allergies. <laughs> I feel bad for anybody in the studio. And uh, some people wrote down some songs. They folded up the paper. Uh, they dropped it into the box. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm gonna get you to open the box. I'm gonna try and uh, see if I can figure out what song you're looking at. Okay. We're gonna get a, a song chosen at random. So Jeff, gra- yeah, grab now, the box for now, me. Now, first off, let, let me just describe Al- Alex's situation right here. Uh, just uh, prior to us uh, finishing that song, he uh, put on his blindfold, which includes duct tape with uh, uh, toonies on his eyes, duct tape on top of that, and then wrapped around with some sort of tensor bandage. Yeah, this is actually how I drove here today. <laughs> It's uh, it's a great way to get out of a speeding ticket, you know. Okay. Uh, the cop pulls you over. So nah. grab the black tab, open up the black yep. tab, the first black tab uh-huh. there, Jeff. I got and the... then grab the second black tab, yep. pull that towards you, uh-huh. and then it'll open up the box. Nice, yep. brother. Oh, and nice. Uh, now you'll see you'll see a couple of slips of paper in there, hopefully. And we had people uh, tweet in their favorite songs too, mm-hmm. which I think we wrote down and yep. tossed in there. Uh, there's gonna be there's gonna be two different kinds of people in the studio today. Um, people that have folded a piece of paper a, a few times. Those people are gonna be kind of the introverts, uh, and, and it's probably gonna be some obscure song that I've never heard of. We can get to that later if we have some time. But for now, grab a piece of paper that's not folded as much. Grab one that's kind of just folded in half, if you will. Not as not as not foldy. as folded. Yeah. Not as okay. All right. I I don't think that's as foldy. All right. Okay. You got one. I got one. Cool, brother. Um, open that up. And again, I'm blindfolded and. Uh, Open that up and, and read whatever's on there. Just make sure it's legible and nothing vulgar or I got obscene. It. You got it. I'm gonna ask you. Uh, I'm gonna ask you some some questions, Jeff. And uh, I'm not. A, I'm not a psychic. I, I don't. I don't uh, necessarily believe in psychic power. I don't think that, uh, that that there is such a thing as paranormal activity. Forgive me. I'm a little bit skeptical. What what I use is just a, a combination of suggestion suggestion psychology uh, and magic principles to kind of give the effect of a sixth sense. So I use my five senses to create the illusion of a sixth. Uh, so Jeff. On that piece of paper, right away, just first instinct, do you think it's a guy or a woman that wrote it down? I'm sorry? Do you think it's a, a man or a woman that wrote it down? Uh, mm-hmm. This is, I'm going to say womanly. Womanly. Womanly writing. Okay. Um, so that kind of helps me out a little bit. Uh, okay. You know what? You, do you know the song title? Like, do you, are you familiar with that song? I'm familiar with this song, okay, yes. Brother. Um, I want you, you ever played like word association games as a kid? Sure. Okay. I want you to play a word disassociation game with me. So I'm going to ask you to name three words that have absolutely nothing to do with any of the words on that piece of paper. I'm assuming most song titles are two to three words long. Are we kind of there? Is it something Mm -hmm. longer than that? No. Two to three words? Perfect. Uh, Do do me a favor. Looking at the first word uh, in that song title, just uh, just name the first word that pops into your head that's not associated with that word. Turtle. Turtle. (laughs) Turtle. I'm going to just write that down on my notepad. Turtle. Okay, turtle. Uh, give, I'll look at the uh, the second word uh, and give me um, give me a word, a random word that has nothing to do with the second word. Poutine. Poutine. Okay. And uh, give me a third word looking at the entire song title uh, or the third word, whichever one it is. Um, give me a, a third word that just pops into your head. Albatross. Albatross. Okay. I think you have a theme going here. <laughs> albatross, poutine. Um, albatross, poutine. Uh, you said turtle, poutine, albatross. Okay, so right away I'm going to say this is something. Uh, this is something whimsical. Um, there's a little bit of hesitation between your words here because they all, they all kind of fit. But there's a little bit of hesitation. Is, is did the person? It, I, I can just kind of sense you with, with with saying the words here. Did the person by any chance change their mind? People do that sometimes. They they, they kind of erase or scratch out something and they put something else. Mm-hmm. Did they do that? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Okay, okay. So don't worry about what they scratched out. I'm just going to go for what they what they wrote clearly. If that makes sense, I didn't even notice what they scratched on. Okay, but they but they they, they obviously changed their mind, so that's exactly. gonna affect me a little okay. bit. That's fine. Um, okay, so turtle, poutine, albatross. A lot of T's here. Um, t t t right. Turtle, poutine, albatross. Uh, so I'm gonna go. Um, this is uh, this is gonna be something something with no T's, but 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 kind of a, a rhythmic. It's gonna be like a rhythmic title. Um, so like uh, one of my one of my favorite bands is Imagine Dragons. I don't think this is anything by them. Uh, it's not, uh, you know what, this, and the E's, uh, oh, oh, yeah, poutine, tutine, turtle, 
albatross. I don't know if the listeners know what it is. I'm, I think I might have an idea. This is, uh, this is I, I want to say, 19, 1975 off the... A uh, night at the opera. This is. I'm gonna say this is uh, Bohemian Rhapsody by by Queen. Wow. Is that is that what that is? Wow. He got it. He got it exactly. I told you he was great. Is that, is I'm, that amazed. Right? <laughs> I'm amazed. I'm amazed. I don't know. He did it. The guy's wrapped up like the mummy over yeah, here. I know. Wow. You you open the box. I didn't touch. The I box. no. You didn't go anywhere near that. box. that box has been sitting there. I, I you haven't had it in your hands in ages. Wow. He brought the box in and that was it. I like it. He didn't touch it. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm truly amazed. Alex Kazam, everybody. And Alex, you got a, a YouTube channel out there? That's right, brother. Yeah, we're just launching uh, the Elusive Days YouTube channel. It's a five-episode series that combines the magic, psychological suggestion, misdirection, attention, and memory principles that I've trained in for about 18 years. I have three other guys, my uh, my friends Nate V, Matt Anthony, and uh, and Martin Bland, who are all magicians of sorts uh, with very different styles. We've kind of come together to create this YouTube project. We just launched our trailer; it's online, and uh, I really, I just, I just, I would love for people to subscribe and check it out because uh, it's it's not cheesy magic. We're really trying to kind of create emotions and feelings and you know good old artsy fartsy stuff, <laughs> uh, and bring some something new to Niagara and something okay. new to YouTube. Excellent. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it on my blog on giantfm.com and people can find it there. Awesome, man. I really appreciate it. Okay. Alex Kazam, everybody. Amazing.